I wonder why Vivian frowned there. I forget what you have to do for this part of the peach section. I forget if you need to go up into... In the X not outfit for this chapter? Or if that's the next chapter. Or maybe it's the quiz section where he just makes you answer some questions. I forget which one it is. Oh, it is where you dress up as an X not. Does any ask what the purpose of having Princess Peach there? Or is that later on that you get that answer revealed? Because obviously the reason Princess Peach is there is so that her body can be used as a a vessel for the Shadow Queen. I, I don't think you find that out. Or you find out what the what's behind the thousand year door when you take the little quiz. Because you find out that thing's a demon. I forget what uh, Peach asks here. One thing I always wonder is like, how is she able to fit in it? Because it like compresses her or something. She shrinks a couple of inches. I like this sneaking music. What does he sound like? Or what does the sex not sound like? They all just sound the same? I was hoping they would have like a similar voice but like varying pitches at least. It's kind of disappointing. I wonder if her voice is going to sound more like a X not. Oh, it does. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Oh, <laughs> 
Good thing that she remember that they do that little X thing. Otherwise, it would have been a little weird if she just left without doing it. I think that's it for this chapter then. She just needs to send her email to Mario and then we do Bowser. But I think Bowser for this chapter is just a little cutscene and then I think that's it. Because I think it does his little Bowser levels every other time you see him. It'd be kind of cool if he had one for each chapter that you see him, but I mean, that's just how they did in the original, so. Yeah, not much really goes on in these parts, if you ask me. I mean, Bowser has the least humor in it. Peach, uh... It's good for story development and understanding why the x knots are doing what they're doing. But, also at the same time, it's very, very boring. And at least Bowser's is funny, so... There's that. And Peach is definitely the worst section I have to go through whenever you replay this game. You can see the little punies. Um, you want to do this one. It's good to see that the Elder's back is doing much better now. Unfortunately, I think it'd be a kind of cool thing if Bowser actually collected one of the stars and then Mario has to try and catch up to him. I think that'd be kind of cool uh, bait and switch of the whole dynamic because Mario's always collecting these things and he does get one from the Xnauts that they've only w were able to collect one and you get it after beating them. I don't know if I want to do the Glitz Pit right now and see whether or not you can fight Prince Mush again. Or if you can fight Prince Mush at all if you become the champ again. Or if they just make you fight Rock Hawk again. Although it would be faster because you don't have to deal with all of the Mr. X stuff. I did realize I miss, I think, some star pieces. Also, I found something funny. I'll show you guys in a moment. Hmm. 
Um, so last time I took a picture of this, I didn't even know you could do this. You can pose. <laughs> Little wild birds taking pictures with me. I think there's three poses? Yep. That's very cool. And then... I think there was a star piece in here I missed. At the corner of the bar. Yep. And let me see... Art gallery. Did I get the ones for chapter one? Okay, I didn't see this. Oh, wow. How do I zoom in again? Why? Oh, look at that. Oh, they got, uh... Oh, Mayor Croup when he was younger. That's cool. And they got his wife, too. I guess they were going to be characters, but then they cut them for some reason. I wonder why. I'm guessing this is the shop, their house, and all those Princess Peach uh, memorabilia in that one guy's house. Oh, early hooktail stuff. It's really nice. And looking at all these models is pretty cool. And also showing how they kind of are doing concept art for it as well. And how to like visualize how would these paper things come together is very nice. Ooh, that looks nice. I forget if you get to see the entirety of it when you're about to fight Hooktail. But that's just so spacious. <laughs> Hooktail's castle looks more gothic in these pictures. Well, I guess it's kind of hard not to make a castle look gothic, right? <laughs> Kupiku. Look at that. She's like a, a lot younger looking than she is in her in the version that's released. And uh, Krupp looks so old. Look at Hooktail. She has roses on her. Hey, <laughs> look at that version of her. <laughs> She's got a crown on her. Man, look at Goops. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I didn't get all the... I need to go to... I need to go to the Thousand Year Door. So, chapter two, I got all the music right. Yeah, I think I already checked this. Okay, let's head over to the Thousand Year Door then. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. No, I think I got everything so far. Lyobert, you're a little stuck into the sidewalk there. Maybe you want to <laughs> move a little or something? I don't know. You know like, kind of being phased into the sidewalk is not the best thing. Thankfully now we can head, uh, yeah, we can head over to Thousand Your Door. I was thinking we could probably check out this room, but 
pretty sure it's gonna be the same. Not this room, but something else. I wanna check if Spike Shield room still needs Vivian, or maybe they did do it so that you can use Yoshi. It looks like it still goes too fast. Just thought I'd check. I gotta remember to break that uh, big block on the right side of the thousand year door. Now in case I ever need to go that way easier that we don't have to go in that airplane panel anymore. Because there's a spring underneath it. Now looking back on chapter 4, I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was, because uh, this chapter can go by pretty fast if you avoid the fights in uh, the Twilight Trail. I just hope they make some of the backtracking not as bad, and hopefully if there is a fast travel pipe in, in uh, for chapter 4, that it's as creepy steeple. Just so it makes getting uh, golden leaves much easier. It won't make the chapter itself easier because you won't be able to get the fast travel until after the chapter. But hopefully just stuff isn't so annoying for this chapter. Is it? That's like the main gripe I have with that chapter is you're just going back and forth, back and forth, I think like three or four times. And it's just that the area that you're going back from is not too interesting. Like if there's some interesting platforming or anything, there's, n there's not really anything. It's just you gotta avoid enemies on a narrow pathway. It's a shame because I think there are cool aesthetics too. To uh, chapter four. Also, because like I like how like I like the Twilight in that game. Although I'm probably not the hugest fan of Twilight in real life. Prefer it when it's uh more purpley than it is uh orange. Wait, what? Toadsworth? Wait, Toadsworth and Zesty are a thing? Huh. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I don't remember if that was a thing in the original. I 
I wonder if this sets an actual timer for 15 minutes. I don't think it's worth it though for shop points. You can just use the uh, dry shroom to get much more shop points. This is such a bad recipe, spicy soup. I feel like you would uh, learn to do it yourself. Oh, a little oinks. So not in this area anymore. Oh, you got any new stuff, Battle Master? Ooh, Ice Smash. Ice Smash is a really good move. Just for stunning enemies. The only issue is that if you use um, Fire Drive, it cancels it out. Are you going to read that once more? Okay. Confusing, I think, is a much more interesting status than Frozen. Because there's a chance for it to attack other enemies. And if you have all the enemies confused, it's just interesting to see them uh, attack each other. But uh, if you want a good stun, Frozen is pretty good. Go see some troubles. Uh, I might be out of hot dogs. Let me check what I have. Okay, we need two hot dogs and a cake. Okay, I got everything then. So, we can do a boboba at least. Good thing I didn't use them. And then he gives you, uh, I think it's dried bouquet, which is pretty much just used to make a space food. It's a very weird re recipe. Because it needs to be dried bouquet, makes with any item that isn't like a, a syrup item. So where does this take me in the glitz pit? Is it going to take me where the blimp takes you? Or is it inside the building? Okay. Yeah, well, I'll take it. Better than having to go all the way. Um, I guess I can go check. Because I did find out that the little hologram thing in this building, you can check the rankings. So Rockhawk is still the champion, that's lame. It's the same thing, what the hell? That's that's really lame. I thought that would have done that differently. Uh well I might be wrong, they might add him later, who knows? Maybe Jolene talks about it, who knows? Because you don't see him anywhere else. Other personality. Okay, calm down, Jolene. Say so yeah, a Prince Mush is just not a thing? It's a, a missed opportunity, if you ask me. Ba 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 
Yeah, this would be really annoying in the original because you have to go all the way back on that plane if you only had the one hunt dog. And then finding out, oh, you gotta give this guy a cake afterwards. The only way to make a cake is to go to the pianta parlor. That takes a couple of minutes. And then you have to go to ST to make the cake. And then come back here. I mean, thankfully I had all this stuff on hand. Fortunately, I can't really put that thing to use right now, so... Probably just store it. Because we can't cook with two items just yet. I don't know why they... They put off... Or... They didn't give you the opportunity to cook with two items... This late in the game. Because... Doesn't... At least 64, it gives you by the middle of chapter 3, right? It's not when you're in the toy box, Shy Guy's toy box. I want to say it is. But you can't even do it in the middle of chapter 4, because you get access to the cookbook, but you can't do it because the trouble doesn't show up till after chapter 4. Personally, I like it how they do it in Bug Fables, where you just have access to dump, to cooking two items at the same time, or two items together. Uh, this one's kind of an annoying thing. Let's do this one. I think for this, all I need is some cake mix, so I'll go get the cake mix. And also I'll put away some items I don't really need. Oh, also, look, the flowers aren't yellow anymore. They're... I think these are hydrangeas. I might be wrong, but they're blue and pink. Though I think hydrangeas are normally more on the bluer side. They might have them as pink. Now we need to go to Merle's place. And I probably should re-up on the curse because I think it's about to run out soon. Fortunately, it doesn't tell me how many uses I have left, but probably a good idea to just re-up on it. Ha 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 ha! 
Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, okay. So I have to <laughs> doctor a couple of times before it'll let me. That's interesting. Can't I skip this? Yeah, I can. Okay, we'll go see Toasty then. Thankfully, I know where she is. She's the house right in front of the Battle Master Toad. Oh yeah, Yoshi is really bad going downstairs if it forces you in that slow falling animation. I kind of wish uh, she gave you like recipes as you like as the story progresses. Her and other characters, I would really like that. That way, people could find out what recipes are. Or I might have said this too, but like tr just have troubles where people are requesting certain recipes, and that way, uh, maybe they say they know the recipes for it, but you need to cook it for them. Or they give hints to what the recipes are. Because so far, it doesn't really look like they're doing much to for people to learn how recipes work in this game. Because, uh, once again, <laughs> Bug Fables kind of does this much better. Because, um, well, there's not as many items to cook with. There's a decent amount of items there, but I mean, cooking items is pretty uh, easy to do. But if you ever are stumped on what recipes you need, there is like an NPC that you can pay money and it'll tell you any of the recipes you might be missing. I feel like they should have something like that. They might. I mean, might come later in the in the game. I feel like that's kind of like a late game NPC you would find, anyways. That's how it kind of is in Outlook Fables. Thankfully, I thought ahead and got her the cake mix. Last time when I tried doing this uh, trouble on the GameCube, I made the dumb mistake of trying to actually make her the heartful cake. <laughs> and that made me waste a lot of time. Because you have to find ruin powder. And uh, the only way you can get ruin powder is in, chapter, in the chapter 4 shop. Otherwise, I think you need to... You can cook to get it if you use a spike pouch, because it's like the opposite, and a point swap. So you can cook point swaps to anything to get like the opposite of that item. You'll see more once we, uh, I'll show it off more when, <laughs> uh, after chapter four, we get access to cooking. Uh, I guess we will do... Jolene's trouble now. Just picking up trash mostly. I think that's what hers is. Did uh she give me something? No, I think it's just coins or something. Or maybe it was just, oh, now you know how to make a heartful cake. Which I mean, I guess isn't too bad. My only issue, whoa. One, recipes are kind of annoying to find out about because it's a lot of experimentations and some of them have weird combinations. And two, cooking items doesn't necessarily yield a better reward. 
which doesn't really make sense if you're going to be using more difficult items. If you like put two difficult items to get and the reward is worse than just having those two items separately. I don't, <laughs> I think that's just a failure of the cooking system. There's gotta be like some balancing to it and they do not do it in this game. And I might be wrong if they actually do fix some stuff, but as it stands in the original version, cooking just kind of sucks. There's like very few cooking recipes that are actually good. Oh, do I have to go through the whole starting up again? Was she looking in the drawer as well? I wasn't really paying attention, but she might have been. Yeah, I'm with Mario. I don't want to do that crap all over again. But thankfully, you only have to re-fight once. Or what I mean is, once you get to the top again, you never have to worry about it once more. I remember they're just like a bunch of shorts or something but it's a lot of them I hope none of them are underneath those uh, yellow box because I want <laughs> to leave them there I hope I'm going to collect all of them, because I don't remember how many there are. It would be nice if there's like a, a trash meter to show how many you're collecting or something. I don't think there's any in this room. Yeah, there's none in here. I'm going to see if I can avoid this one real quick. We'll see. Oh, no. The hitbox is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Let's see if I can do this then. Dang it. I'm real bad at uh, <laughs> moving my hurtbox. Do this, then I'm gonna go in front, and then Koops will give it to me. He does it? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe Mario can only pick these things up? I thought Koops could pick stuff up.
No, I guess he can't pick this up. I wonder if they got rid of that, because that did have some weird interactions. I <laughs> didn't mean to fall that time. Okay, enough uh, <laughs> messing around. Alright, that should be it. There shouldn't be any in the events. <laughs> then now we'll talk to her, but she'll tell us we need to meet with somebody in uh Roadport. Um Did I not get it all? I'll break these things. Oh my god, I do have to break this stuff. It's a bummer. Maybe I didn't need to break it all, but whatever. I think it was just that one. I think you need to take it to Comfrey or something. Yeah, now the dialogue's changed. It'd be kind of cool if you could use the map to uh, warp back to that place. But I don't think a thing like that's going to happen. It'd be really cool. Help me to get a lot of backtracking stuff. I mean, so far that new redesigned room really helps with all that. But, yeah. Well, this, this is a lot easier. Because I think every time you would do this in the original, you would like do another uh, prompt and then it would open up the inventory and you would do that again and again. Now we gotta go back to Jolene. She better pay me like... She didn't pay that well for this in the original, so I'm not expecting... Anything better than 30 coins? Pretty cool and so cool. Let me check. Um, oh, it shows percentages for this stuff too. I never knew this. Let 
That's really good to, uh, if you're looking for specific areas where you might be missing stuff. see the stuff for chapter three. They show how they make it. That's cool. And there's one with like all the hardware and one without the hardware. That's cool. Oh yeah, and then Jolene's in there now because she's the new promoter. Oh, wow, look at that detail. I don't know if you ever see that much. Oh, you get to see uh, an idea of uh, the champion's room with like neon or something. The lighting is very funky. <laughs> Look at Rock Rock. That's funny. Oh, Jolene has like two pieces of hair and not just the one. I like the little swing next to the reporter. He's got a nice scoop. Definitely Grubba. They had that design nailed down. Look at that. It's exactly like the one in the game. Rockhawk looking a little funky though. Doesn't look like a chicken. Oh, I got the music too. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. I'll have to see this later. Maybe I will do the glitz pit. <laughs> 